Go. Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends gameplay. And in this one, we're going to be on the PBE server playing the newest AD Assassin to hit the PBE server and League of Legends, Kiana. Now, this champion is honestly a little bit interesting. Uh, pretty hard to play for the most part. And... Uh, she kind of just obviously uses the elements around her, you know, surrounding areas to empower her damage, right? Now, she has AP ratios in her passive and her W, so maybe some hybrid builds could be good. But for the sake of this video, we are going to be going for a Lethality build, the normal kind of AD Assassin build. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Let's get this party started, guys. Let's see. We're facing an Alawi mid, apparently. Now, that's not really a champion that uh, I would say is necessarily uh, too ideal to face as any AD Assassin. But I guess we'll see what happens. I'd be surprised if I actually ever kill her in lane. I'm gonna have to use my many dashes to try and avoid her damage if possible. Okay. So you can see the Q by itself without any elements is actually pretty bad. I'm gonna use this, check it out. Oh god. Oh god. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Some damage on her there. I'm trying to increase. Oh, I'm trying to increase the hot scale a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, okay. Go ahead and get that element there from Earth. Might as well get something. Hmm. This is going to be a hard champion to beat in uh, in lane, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a little bit of a tough matchup, to say the least. Let's see what happens, see what happens. Get my E here, beautiful. So uh, apparently, even though it doesn't say anything in the tooltip, apparently... Slow damage time. Oh, Zach is coming in, though. Should be fine. Oh. oh, Jesus, this Lao Jesus Christ, scaring the shit out of me there. Woo! He's like flashing in. He's he's thirsty, man. He's he's the thirsty one. Let's go ahead and get this quickly. Jesus, that was actually scary, man. That was too spooky, too spooky. Let's go ahead and push this in ASAP if I can. So apparently, uh, the W does reset the cooldown of your Q. Now, it doesn't say anything about that in the tooltip, which I think Riot should fix. Uh, it says literally nothing about it in the tooltip, which, yeah, they definitely need to fix that ASAP, uh, in my opinion. Because if you watch, if you mouse over it here... Nowhere in the tooltip anywhere does it say that it does a reset on the queue. So I, th I think for the sake of clarity, they should definitely fix that. Uh, let's go ahead and go double longsword here. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of it, let's get triple longsword here. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Alright, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 it's saying on the Q? Oh, it says it on the Q? Oh, I'm good. Sorry. I just said Oh, I see. Okay, so it says it there. I feel like I should say it on the W, though, as well, maybe, or something. Okay, so never mind. It says on the Q. My, my bad. My mistake. My mistake, right? My mistake. You guys are good. You're chilling. Jesus, the deep still coming in strong, baby. Coming in strong as hell. Okay. Let's go. Damn. I mean, the Nami came in and helped me a little bit, but I feel like just in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, I was I was dumpstering her pretty nicely there. It was a nice little one-on-one -on -one dumpster. Okay. Go ahead and go push this in. Yoink. Oh, please. Not like this. I kind of want to go back and... Wait, is there no sound? I just realized. No, there's sound. It's just really quiet, I think. Yes, it increases. Your is the How's the top lane matchup? It's against a Zed against a Mordekaiser, the new Mordekaiser too. That's a scary champion, man. I'm not gonna lie. That new Mordekaiser is pretty spooky. So you want to watch out for him, even as a Zed. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and W. Can you W over this? You can. Nice. So as long as you press the W on like the tower in this case or the wall on the other side. So essentially where you want to go, but not on the ground, but like on the wall itself, just on the other side. So instead of pressing it like here, you go here. If I want to go like this, it'll go over, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can do anything to her. Okay, no, yeah. 
Okay, now we have our ultimate ready to go. Let's go ahead and... Kind of empower this first before we go for place. I need her to miss her thing. Jesus Lord. Okay, never mind. Alright, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe going on an allow it in a one-on-one -on -one scenario is not what you want to be doing as any champion. Uh, yeah, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have went on here. That was completely my bad. Wait, what happened? Okay, uh, my mistake, I guess. My mistake. Oopsies. Don't want to be fighting an allow one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I thought my ultimate pushes back. I'm surprised it didn't. I thought it would push her back against the wall. Creates a non-damaging shockwave that knocks back enemies and stops when it hits a wall. But for some reason, it didn't seem like it pushed her back, which I thought it would. Hmm. Because I thought it would put her right against that wall and it would kill her. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Maybe a glitch happened there? Maybe some weird interaction happened? I'm not really sure. Oh, that's pinked. Okay. Let's go ahead and push this in. Wait, that wasn't... Hold on a second. Wait, what? That wasn't the thing? Wait, why doesn't it... Run, 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 Kiana. Run! Wait, why would it not... That's actually... Oh, I have to literally click on the bush. I thought if I was in the jungle and I click anywhere in the jungle, I get the grass bonus, but I have to literally click on the bush itself. I see. Okay. Interesting. Now we're invisible. Ah, that's interesting. But so if, what if I do this? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Interesting. Okay. Now, this champion is uh, honestly not very easy to play. Uh, the champion definitely has a skill cap to the to the champion, like pretty hard. You have to click on the little bush. Okay, understood, understood. For some reason, when I was watching that gameplay trailer, it just made it seem like as long as you're in the jungle, well, you get the jungle benefits of it, but okay. Make sure you actually click the W on the exact terrain that you want. So if you click on the on the turret, if you click on the structure, any structure or wall, you get the the stone bonus, I guess you can say. If you click on any structure or any like any water area, so which in this case is only really this area here, then you get the water bonus. And if you click on any any bush, then you click uh, then you get the like invisibility, I guess, bonus or whatever it is. And Does she go over this wall? She doesn't. Okay. That hit me? I can't believe that hit me. Who plays Lava Mid, man? That's my question right there. Lava Mid? What is this? Why? Oh my god, the champion is someone. Okay, all right. My bad, I guess. I'm so sorry. The fact that I even consider even touching a Laue, I guess, is my issue to begin with. Kill him, boys. Kill him! Nice. Can I lane against anything but a Laue, please? This is not a champion that you can play a melee into. You can play... I don't think there's a single melee champion other than maybe something like a Fiora that can play into an Laue and actually do well. That champion is just completely broken when it comes to one-on-one -on -one against other melees. If she lands the E, of course. In that case, she did. So, I have to dodge the E. That's like my only chance to ever do anything. Oh, wait a minute. This Kiana is smurfing. Wait, this Kiana is actually smurfing on the block. Use the W? Oh, just barely, too. Okay. Hmm. A w on the river, let's say. Maybe some CC would help against this. What do I want to max? I think I want to max my E second here. The E is probably the second ability that we want to be maxing for sure here. Oh, Jesus. These tentacles are unbelievably terrifying. Does she... she... Okay, yeah. See, that's what... She can literally just do that. 
She can literally just walk in and take that, and I literally have to... Can't stop her. Let's kill him, baby. Come here, Zach. Get your ass over here, boy. I mean, my damage is very there. Like, do you see that damage? She was at like 40% HP. I threw the Q at her and she died instantly. Like, the damage is there. It's just against Nalao, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty spooky, man. It's a, it's a pretty spooky champion to face. But I, I should throw my Q first star, actually. Whee. One thing that would be pretty cool is if her E ability, actually, when you pass through other enemies or champions or minions or whatever, even though I clicked on this other one, it will still do damage to everything I passed through. That would be pretty cool, I think. Um, let's see. So now we have Dust Blade. So well, I feel like when you have Dust Blade, how long do you go invisible for? I uh, got 20% movement speed and it fades after attacking from it, exiting, or after three and a half seconds. So that's actually enough time, I think, for Dust Blade to reset, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is, actually. That could be pretty cool. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. So what I want to do now is I want to go over this wall like this. So the fact that you can go over walls is actually really cool, I think. I like that a lot. I can kill the Skindra though, if they always die. I'm flashing over this. No, no. Can I go over this? No, you can't, okay. Uh, I have to check if you can go over something like that. Okay, so the actual distance they can go over walls is really, really short. It's really, really short. It's not a long distance at all. So that's something to keep, really keep in mind, right? It's a very, very short distance that you can go over walls. So it seems like in terms of just raw damage, the best ability to use is by far her Q with uh, the Earth Enchantment, right? Because only below 50% HP, because that does a lot of damage. Other than that, you probably want to use anything but the Wall Enchantment, um, because those actually give you extra effects, but the Wall Enchantment will give you literally no extra effects uh, if they are above 50% HP. So you almost always want to use something else, apparently, from what I'm understanding. But if they're below 50% HP, you almost always want to use your wall enchantment. It's really, really good. You can E over walls. Yeah, you can E over walls, but if there's no champion to use it on, you can't, right? Let's see. So I'm going to take this quickly and press W in the bush here. Check it out. Yoink, right? Get the bush. So the goal is to try and E on someone, proc Dustblade, use the Q, go invisible, reproc Dustblade, and go ham. Let me see if I can do it on her here. I left it by accident too. I can actually kill her here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna kill her soon. I landed. I'm so sad that I landed. But that, so, that does so much damage. Dude. God, Alao is actually a monstrosity of a champion. Whoo! God, that's just, that is that is actually just terrifying to face. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that champion ever in my life. I really don't. Jesus, that damage is unbelievable. Oh God, what is this? If we get Kindred to 50%, I instantly kill. I see, I say Invis for quite a while, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. So the biggest important thing, I think, is for the most part, your W does reset the cooldown on your Q. So you have to try to abuse that because it maximizes your damage output a lot. But CDR also makes uh, her super OP. So you want to get 40% CDR ASAP. So I think the build is double uh, Lethality, so Dustblade and Yomus because they give 10% into a Black Cleaver. I think that's going to be the build that you want to go for, if possible. So I'm going to wait in base just a tad. Sure. Just a tad, because I want to get this uh, Caulfield's Warhammer for an extra 10% CDR. With blue buff as well, I get 30%, which is going to be really nice. Because it seems like the cooldown on her ability is, is pretty low. 5.6 on this. This is at 8 seconds, but it actually reduces in cooldown as I rank up. Pretty weird. 
Max W lowers the CD. No. Max, uh, leveling W does not lower the CD, from what I understand. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. Let's go here. Q. Or E, rather. And then a Q. The E damage is actually not bad. A 140 plus 102. Considering it's literally a point and click, just dash, smack into the face, it's, it's really not bad. Oh, that would have killed it. I can't go into that craziness. Get the execute ready. No one's executed, unfortunately. Okay, it's fine. Chilling. Man, she's hard to play. I'm not gonna lie. She, she's pretty hard to play. She doesn't have anything super obvious that's like super obviously broken in her. Like you have to kind of really, really utilize her kit. Okay, second I E on this guy. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now I want to cure. I'm curious to see. So initial damage is up by 70. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Okay, okay. Not bad, actually. Interesting. Very interesting. Like, the Keanu is fighting over here. So let's go ahead and see if we can find her. She's somewhere chilling. I don't know where exactly, but she is somewhere. Maybe up here somewhere? Let's find out. Oh, there you are. Get the movement speed. Nice. Use the E on the minion there to gap close, then we get the kill anyways. Beautiful. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, the range on her actual Q is surprisingly small. It, it does feel like it should be a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna lie. It is surprisingly small. Oh, she actually got me. I have so much gold that I want to spend. I'm not gonna lie. I do want to spend this gold pretty badly. I'm gonna go for the invis one. Okay, you know what? No, no, it's not gonna work out. I think we just back out. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. Wait, this is a good heal. I do kind of want to reset because yeah, I want to reset. I I I need to I need the. Uh, items here. I have a lot of items, or a lot of gold rather. So let's go ahead and just do that quickly here. Now let's go for the black cleaver right away, because you want the CDR. The extra movement speed for black cleaver itself will also be super useful, I think, too, because she feels. I don't know. She reminds me a lot of Echo actually, like an almost like an AD Echo. And the reason I say that is because Echo is a champion that likes to kind of go in, do a little bit of burst damage, get the movement speed, and then run around, wait for the cooldowns. And actually, he likes to play around the fight like that, play with the cooldowns very well. She feels very similar in that sense to me. Where you want to play with her cooldowns. You know what I mean? Oh, they're trying to do GG. Alright guys, well there you guys have it. That's just an example of the gameplay of the new champion, Kiana. Let me know what you think about it. I'll have more gameplays coming up before the builds. But either way, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.